Christina, what's going on? Well, Jerry, um, my sister is dating my father. Oh. And, uh, oh. yeah, yeah. What, what? Your sister is dating your father? Stepfather. Stepfather. Enough said. Yeah. <laughs> She's wild. Uh, well, it gets you on the show. Yeah. Uh, Okay, that's pretty disgusting. How did it happen? Well, um, actually, a long time ago, my sister was married, and they divorced. Her and her husband divorced. And she went to a bar one night and seen him there, and they started talking. Well, obviously, when you start drinking enough, things get out of hand, and they started talking, like, extremely badly talking together, and they started getting together. And I asked her to come home, you know, bring her boyfriend home, because you'd stay out days at a time yeah. and would never, you know, come home or call. And... <laughs> One Thanksgiving, Harry, we open the door and they walk in and jaws drop. Well, so they go out drinking one night, but doesn't she recognize that's dead? Well, yeah, but, you know, apparently it's okay with her. It's, you know, like there's no problem. Now, is your dad still married? To my mother, yes, but been separated for 20 years. Oh. <laughs> it's, yeah. So your dad is leaving your mother to marry his daughter. Yeah, it's, it's pretty messed up. It's not cool. <laughs> this is the perfect show. Yeah! 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 All right, well, I tell you what, why don't we meet? I want to hear what she has to say about this. This is your sister, Tammy. Now, you may not want her involved in it, but she, you're her sister. So she's kind of concerned, you know, that, gee, my sister's married to my dad. <coughs> you got to admit, that's kind of like outside the bounds. Sick. Isn't it? No, it's not sick, Christina. My mother's already been with him, Tammy. Uh, so what? That's been years ago. I don't remember them being together. That's irrelevant. That doesn't mean anything. We have family. We have years. I had you before he ever had you. Well, if it bothers you so much, stay away from us. If you get to know us better as a family, I know a couple, you enough. Well, then what are you worried about? Because you're, this is disgusting. You're breaking our family apart, literally. No, this is breaking our family apart. You are breaking it apart. Oh, you're full. <laughs> <thing. laughs> okay. uh, so. You, you've been intimate with him already? Yes. Uh, the first time, was it a little bit awkward? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, well, that's honest. That's an honest answer. I mean, did you kind of say, gee, I don't know, maybe this... Well, it, it wasn't. Did he come on to you? Did... No, we just got drunk one night and it just happened. Was... Was this after you finished your homework? <laughs> no, <laughs> this wasn't until four years ago. Oh, oh, oh okay. So it was no, it was, not, it was not, nothing like that. Okay. So I tell you what, why don't we bring him out? Uh, here is your dad and your boyfriend. Yeah. Donnie. <laughs> Disgusting. How absolutely nasty can you be? You don't know anything about what's happening. That's, it don't matter. You you are, you're still married to my mother. Still. Still. <laughs> it don't matter. It's just nasty. You're tearing us apart. And we care so much about y'all. I'd love to have y'all in my family, but obviously well, it's not going to happen. If you knew more about what was happening, and, and there's been a little mis mis misconception going okay, on well, what, don't, what don't we know? That's what fair. we don't, what's not being told here is the time periods that were involved yeah. in between the breakups with Mama 
and uh, yeah. the time that me and Tammy eventually got together, we're talking a time lapse of 15, 17 years. Yeah. But you're still her stepdad. Correct. <laughs> of all okay. the women in the world, wouldn't you try to find someone outside the family tree? Thank I don't found many of them. There what? No, there was many in between. Yeah. Yeah, I just, it all come about one day when I was moving and asked her if she'd like to uh, help me do some packing, I'd be glad to pay her. I also run a small construction company and hired her to do some, hired her to do a little work. Yeah. And uh, just more or less, eventually over time, it blossomed and waves came in, fireworks, that type of thing. Yeah. <laughs> Well, wouldn't you say, because you seem like a rational person, wouldn't you say, you know, this is kind of... Sure, it's freaky, and, I, and, and believe me, I don't live in a trailer park. <laughs> yeah. But the scoop is that it just happened, and I'm not apologizing for it. I didn't mean for it to happen. It, it was no way scripted in itself. It just come about, and... So here we are. You oh. are a nasty whore. No, you are. <laughs> you are a well, then nasty stay, whore. Then stay away from us. Okay, well, it's not as bad as the family. What do you want to say to your, what do you want to say to your dad? Why don't you two talk? I just, I can't believe, you know, this is going on. And to figure, you know, just in general that y'all are still married, that's just not cool. I mean, we had time together, we're good friends. I love her, you know, she's my sister. And I love you because you're my father, period. And I respect you for that. And, you know, but it's just so not cool. It's really not, you know, I and mean. You just have to deal with it and get on. Them the breaks. That's not cool. Well, it might not be in your eyes. Well, how do you feel about this? I, I don't. I, what, how do you think I feel, Christina? <sighs> it doesn't bother me. I'm no blood relation to this girl. None. She did. And after 15, 17 years or so, uh, so what? But you, you came into her life when she was 13. Correct. To help raise. So she right. So you, she looked up to you as a father figure. Nah, uh, not necessarily. We had a lot of problems back when she was real young. Yeah. She didn't. Matter of fact, she pretty That's much right. despised. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> later on, you know, as, as she grew up and matured a little bit, and we started to, to communicate somewhat. And uh, eventually after she, if you want to know the truth, when I got with her, she, she had a few problems, and uh, I picked her up out of the dirt yeah. and gave her a life, gave her a job, and, a, it, and a purpose for living. As a dad would do. Uh, is, yeah, I'm, uh, pretty much. <laughs> fatherly, fatherly love. <laughs> yeah, but it should stop there. It no? should. But yeah. in this case, it just didn't. Okay. <laughs> Would you ever ask her out? No. That's another episode. <laughs> no. no, I wouldn't consider it. <laughs> so what do you want to say to her? Uh, I love you, and uh, I'm sorry if I've uh, drugged the family through the dirt. And, and uh, right. We'll deal with worse than this. We'll deal with the rest of it. Well. You're so nasty. Uh, what do you want to say to him? We'll work on this. <laughs> Oh, so you're not, so you're not definitely saying that you'll marry him? I'm not definitely so saying married. no. Oh, okay, and I'd have to get a divorce first, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But let's just consider this an engagement ring. Okay. How immoral. How immoral. How immoral. Well, maybe we'll get to later. We'll you know, uh, the funny we'll part about it is you come from a household that's a Springer show 24-7, 360. I got her out and I I got her out well, of the it. good news is you're not bringing any new people into the family. True. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're just doing it. I can't believe this. This is. And we're the sane ones in the bunch. Y'all should the rest of the family. <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> If you think that was wild and crazy, then click here to keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe. All you have to do is click here. And one more thing, take care of yourself and each other.